In this episode, I'm going to talk about stretching and going all in on something. Sharon Hornellstrom here. You can call me Pajama Grandma. In case we haven't met yet, go ahead and put hashtag pajama in the comments below. So I know it's the first time you're being exposed to the Pajama Grandma. I love meeting new people and knowing that I am, I guess, exposing myself to you. <laughs> this is my journey as I transition from the traditional brick and mortar world and corporate world to the online world as an older person that doesn't have a technical background with respect to computers and online things or, or marketing or sales or anything. And sometimes I make great strides moving forward in my move to the online world. Other times it seems like I'm in a, a lost loop holding pattern. And part of that when I find myself in that holding pattern, it's usually because I need to get out of my comfort zone. I need to stretch. I need to tip my toe out of my comfort zone and I need to do something that I am, all right, I'm scared to do it. I'm scared to do it and I'm scared to, to be a part of it. And I, I came up against one of those today. Um, I have learned and overcome my fear of doing Facebook Lives. And I know I'm not great at them or doing videos, live videos and podcasting and publishing in my on my blog and and getting things out there and getting content out there but I've been holding back and not going all in in terms of and I, I show up uniquely as who I am I mean I show up if, if anybody wants to know who I am I tell them just go watch a couple of my videos and you see and you know everything you need to know about me I have not however been very good about showing and being vulnerable and showing the scary parts of me, the parts of me that I'm scared to share and scared to show. And our challenge is part of a, a challenge I'm doing right now called One Funnel Away Challenge is that today we need to publish our origin story. Our, and it's following a, an Epiphany Bridge script structure, which is awesome. And it does a really good job of helping you share your story. But it also makes you go back and really share your story. Some of the stuff that's the hardest to go back to and face up to because it's the things that caused us to make the changes and go in different directions in our life than we were going in the past. So I did a practice one on my Pajama Grandma podcast this morning. Every morning I hop online and I ask a question, a pajama, I call it Pajama Grandma question. And I just had a, ask a question about something I'm thinking about or something I'm wondering or something that I've observed in the last, usually the last few days that I'm just curious about how other people are experiencing it. So someday maybe it's a what's your favorite something and other days maybe it's a, a heavy question or you know what's most important to you. But I shared the reason that I do that in the Epiphany Bridge format and that made me cry. So knowing that later today I have to share something that I'm much more vulnerable about, I, I'm going to tell you it's making me nervous and it's making me a little anxious and I don't really get anxious about the video part but I do get a little anxious about how do I share you know, some of the experiences that I've had in my life, because I know we've all had amazing experiences, but we've all also had some heartbreaking, soul crushing experiences in our lives. And to be honest, it's the soul crushing, heartbreaking experiences that have transitioned me and catapulted me and moved me in the direction I want to go more than anything else. Um, and that's, it's hard to admit, but it's so true. It's the it's the divorce. It's the health challenges. It's the the failed attempts at building businesses or um, trying to get new customers or going after jobs that I thought I really wanted that I, I wasn't even, they, they had no interest in me whatsoever. But then it's the getting the, the job that was really perfect for me by being my myself and being who I uniquely am. And it's the vulnerability of sharing those stories and and it's hard, but I have committed as part of this challenge to go all in and share that story today. I will probably share it on my, I don't know what page. It's going to be, it's going to be to make it less scary for me. It's going to be one of my obscure pages, probably my Sharon Hornellstrom page, because that's where I'm doing the One Funnel Away Challenge daily. I'm doing a daily video about doing that challenge with somebody else so that people can follow my journey of making that challenge, which is pretty vulnerable, I guess. But this is like the epitome of vulnerability of sharing my origin story with respect to the product that I haven't even created yet. And so how do I pull what from my past is most relevant to 
and it has caused me to want to do and create this product that I'm creating for this challenge. So I'm working on that today. I've got three amazing interviews today for my podcast. Super excited about those. Um, I can't see them right now. They're on my wall, but I know that they're amazing people. And so it's going to be fun to, to share those interviews down the road. I'll do all three today, but of course I won't share all three today. Um, but I love doing interviews. It's so fun to learn what other people are doing to make the world a better place. Because those are the type of people I interview. People that are out helping other people to make the world a better place. Or people that are growing their own businesses like I am and supersizing their business and the, the journey that they're having. Because it's really rewarding to learn how other people are going through the journey and what they're learning, what secrets they're picking up along the way. You know, strategies and things that have really helped them to grow their business or challenges that they're having that we can learn from. So that's what I'm working on today. I'm going to get real vulnerable. I'm going, to, I'm going to make a concerted effort not to cry. I know even when I do a webinar and I share my origin story, I tend to to tear up and choke up and I'm like, oh my God, I'm trying to do a presentation here. I can't cry. And I'm not a crier, you guys. I am not a person that cries very easily. Only two people could really make me cry and that was my dad and my ex-husband. My dad's passed away and I'm divorced, so I pretty much don't have to cry very much these days. <laughs> not that I ever cried very much anyway. All right, that's it. That's what I'm working on. That's my journey for today. What have you got going? If you need help in any way, shape, or form and you think I can help you or I might know somebody that can help you, please feel free to contact me and let me know because that is what gets me excited. Being able to connect people with the other people and the resources that need, they need and want to supersize their business and to, to grow or create whatever it is in their life that they want. All right, popping off now. Catch you tomorrow. Bye.